This is Shep O'Neill with the VOA Special English Development Report. Investors are being offered a new way to support independent media in developing countries. The Swiss private bank, Vantabel, and the social investment group, Responsibility, launched the offering last week. They say the new product will provide not just a financial return, but social added value. They say it is a chance to invest in press freedom with a moderate level of risk. Vontabel spokeswoman Claudia Kratz says the new financial product will be listed on the Swiss exchange starting on May 18th. Its product combines two things. One is a bond-like investment. The other is a loan to a New York non-profit organization, the Media Development Loan Fund. The goal is to raise 20 million Swiss francs, about 16 million dollars. 20 percent of that will go into the loan. Interest on the loan will be charged at a rate of 1 percent. The announcement said Bank Vandebel and the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation will guarantee the product is tradable at all times, and they will guarantee that investors can resell it, if necessary, before the end of the five-year term. The Media Development Loan Fund will use the money for low-cost financing of projects in developing democracies. The group has financed independent media companies in 17 countries. The money is used for such things as broadcasting equipment, computers, and printing presses. The Media Development Loan Fund currently has out about $30 million in loans. Spokesman Peter Whitehead tells us that loan losses are 3%. Sasa Vucinic started the Media Development Loan Fund in 1995. He was the chief of independent radio B92 in Serbia. He calls the new investment product a truly revolutionary step. He says it could provide an example for using private finance to support other social projects around the world. The announcement came on May 3rd, World Press Freedom Day. The group Reporters Without Borders said at least 63 journalists and five media assistants were killed worldwide last year. It says more than 1,300 media workers were attacked or threatened, the most since 1995. This VOA Special English Development Report was written by Jill Moss. Read and listen to our reports at voaspecialenglish.com.